Oh, just key noises. Oh, boy. I am Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be taking a first look at Augmented Pianto by UVI. <laughs> Augmented Piano downloads as 14 gigabytes. That's uh, compressed down from 61 gigabytes lossless FLAC files. It was recorded from a 1909 Playa Grand Piano. They've got three adjustable microphone positions set up inside the instrument interface, and it's got 24 different preparations, everything from uh, bowed brushes, dropping a coin on it, an ebo, harmonics, key noise, foil, sticks, and many more. Um, there's a total of 164 presets, and the individual articulations are all included as their own presets, as well as a great set of mixed preparation presets, where you got more than one of those prepared articulations. It is compatible with the free UVI workstation, or Falcon. At the time of putting this video together, uh, Augmented Piano was on special intro price for 99 US dollars, normally sell for 149. And I'll include a link to take you straight over to both Sample Library Reviews Augmented Piano page, as well as UVI. So I've got Augmented Piano here. Looks like we've got quite a few folders, 12 different folders. And, uh... Let's just start with checking out the default normal and Preparation. It looks like we got uh, that was the rhythm mic, mic, and the PCM, and we got condensers. So we could do get quite a different kind of sound mixing the. Mixing the different mics in, each have their own kind of characteristic. So that's kind of neat. So we got mic positions, and then we got all our ADSR, hmm, additional mod wheel controls, and effects chain. So that's kind of cool. So that's our default normal. Ah, and default unicorda. This is great. So this will just be the. Uh, the uh, hammer shifted over to just hit one chord so you get that super soft, intimate sound. And that's pretty nice right there with the rhythm and the piezo. Let's just see if we just try the condensers. Might be a little bit more uh, brightness. Also a little more stereo separation too. Oh, that's nice. That's nice combining the two. You get a, a, a little separation and you get kind of that high end from the condenser and the warmth of the, the ribbon. OK, 
Okay, so that's just the to do two defaults. Sound pretty nice. I'm just gonna, there's a lot to get through, so I'm just gonna randomly kind of pick through some of these. Here's the Mellow TV show. <laughs> Got a little bit of delay and a pretty big verb there. A lot of bite. Curious. You want to hear this piano noir? Nice dark tone. It's the normal preparation. with a bright attack. Yeah, that's nice. If, must be uh, must be some EQ. Yeah, looks like boosted a little bit of these low highs. <laughs> low highs. It's a oxymoron, isn't it? Pizia Mono. That was going pretty nicely until I hit that nasty note. All right, now let's see what some of these other are. Dream Tact Harp. I'm assuming this is when we start to really take the instrument out uh, in UVI fashion, where they've really done some manipulation, some effects. So let's see. Oh, that's a nice little. Ah, uh, it's the preparation. So it's attack preparation. Guitar Act Spirit.
some really nice character to these low velocity samples. Just that attack of the tack. Okay, picked. Dream pick piano. So I assume this is with a pendulum, like you would strum a guitar. come in handy for uh and each of these we've got the default so i guess that loads up without the effects let's just check out pick clavent i assume this will sound like a clavinet with heavy phase on there again let's see here's our phaser Got the Thoris. And our IR, if we wanted to take it out a little further. Okay, wood stick. Let's check out the default for that. I assume it's going to be struck with a wood stick. I think we're trying, we're starting to catch on. It's really bright, and that's the ribbon mic there. So let's check it out with the uh, condenser mic. I really like the piano release uh, noises on this. Very realistic, the, the uh, playing of the key. see what the other wood sticks are. Let's check out this reggae phase. Yeah, that's a lot of phase. Weird banjo. very bitey. That's kind of what I expected it. OK. 
Okay, moving on. Metal stick. Let's hear the default metal sticks. Yeah, that's nice. see that being pretty inspirational for some kind of uh, score. Grand metal. A lot of delay and verb on that one. Heading over to the brushes. A couple different default brushes. Looks like they've got five different kinds of attacks. This one's the brush slide. unique kind of tone to that. I like it. Just randomly pick a couple. Let's go with a, a brush tap. Dark. Yeah, this is the kind I would totally be drawn to. The Beauty Expressive. Nice attacks, a lot of detail. Yeah, just so much attack and piano resonant noise. It's really nice. There's the uh, IR on that one. I think it's probably driving a lot of the sound. And uh, let's see what this world inspiration is. Yeah, I could see why. sound very worldly okay we got some bowed instruments and ebo <laughs> okay now with this one i'm curious to see what they've got set up for the mod wheel tremolo and a little bit of filter It 
surprisingly wind-like. Almost like a bagpipe. We've got Ebo, which is very exciting. This is much more roadsy than I expected. Interesting growl, don't you think? Just seems to be the resonance in those C overtones. Because if I play the E, it's pretty clean. That's kind of neat sound, though. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's try the radio whirly. I think we all know what this is going to sound like. this solo bow ah portamento Gonna have to check out this solo Ebo. It just is so different than I expected to say. I guess I'm thinking more of a guitar ebo sound. Uh, although it's a string instrument, that's why I'm assuming that. Mm -hmm. Mod wheel gives it a little extra something with the tremolo and that uh, filter. Muted, finger mute, and then we got harmonics, pick mute, tack mute. Yeah, with this one, I'm expecting some pretty cool delays in the uh, affected version.
Okay. Let's check out the fingered pizzicato. I do like how it tells you the preparation here. So that's got the filter. I'm going to turn that tremolo off. I just want to hear the filter. Yeah, that's something I could get behind. That one there. How about Radio World? Yeah, it's that clav sound they've, they've engineered before that kind of gives us a little bit of that world's groove sound. I think that was also in the picked, perhaps. So let's venture into these fingered. How about the deep harp? This is uh, loading. That's why I'm waiting. Okay, I can buy that. I'm warming it up just a little bit with that ribbon mic. Check this guitar, guitar two. Got to play in E minor if I'm doing something guitar. Tiny guitar. Unexpected. I don't know what acoustic is. Maybe it's a uh, signature sound from one of the developers. Yeah, kind of harp like. All at the same time, very piano resonant, but with a little bit of harp crispness. All right, coins, rubber, screws, all kind of interesting things for uh, this objects folder. Nice rattle. That's the default. Uh, let's see what the... 
rubber is. I wonder if it's what they're using. Preparation rubber. So like an eraser. Character that I really love the sound of the resonant of the piano. It's not really about the string as much as it is how that piano reacts to the sound. So this is screws all and. It's really neat, this low velocity. I'm wondering if I go to my... Is there some control? I'm wondering if there's a way for me to just to uh, not play those heart attacks so like a uh, heart attack uh -huh. and then the inharmonic screws that's really nice that's the kind of um, acoustic yet modified uh, augmented piano sound that I kind of was expecting from this. So that's just a great sound. Let's try nylon like. It's really fun. I think this might be one of my favorites thus far. And I got a cat crying at the birds out the window. Let's hear the screw piano. Toy Coin Piano. You know, I am a big fan of UVI's sample um, ethos, I guess. The quality they deliver on their samples always seems to be so live and crisp and clear and consistent throughout, no matter what they're sampling. Oh, this is unexpected. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> someone had fun recording this one. Oh, just key noises. Oh, boy. I love it. I don't know what we're going to get at this point. Oh, yeah. The keyboard just lit up like Christmas morning. So let's check it out. Here we go down in the red section. Oh, I've got, got to jump down my keyboard. Here we go. There's my piano drum set. And then we've got a yellow area. All kinds of fun was had during the making of that area. And of course, we've got our different mics that we could vary with those structural effects. We've just got to hear more of these effects. Let's go to this key noise effect. Oh, glorious. And metal foil. Okay, I'm going to take the effects off this guy because I want to hear the sample set. Ah, I think this metal wrapped around the key. And structural effects. Wait a minute. Did I do this one already? XFX structural effects. Oh, okay. That's a different one. And now we've got mixed sample sets. Brush taps and metal foil. Let's find out what this one has. Okay, and look at this. We've got our metal foil and a brush tap separately. Okay, that's cool. Then let's see what else. Finger and bow. kind of fun. Let's try normal harmonics and caps. Should be kind of wacky. And we've got 
Screw Harmonics and Ebo. fun and uh tact and metal foil Let's see what this one's gets this just a little bit more of that buzzy attack That's fun there. Oh, Unicorda and Bow. This could be really nice. We gotta get the Unicorda adjusted. I'm gonna go with the uh just the rhythm, ribbon. Ribbon. Yeah, what's nice about that is that uh, bow continues to hold out and linger on, just like if you had a layered up, a really beautiful unicorda, and a little bit of a, a very minimal synth. And I use that all the time, especially for trailer track openings. So let's go with the wood stick and bow. We'll call it a day here after this one. Yeah, that's an odd one to end on. Thanks so much for spending a little time with me today. Check out the brand new augmented piano from UVI. It's always a real pleasure to share these new libraries with you uh, as they come out. I know it's great to get a little more in-depth look at a first look. And uh, thanks for forgiving my piano playing, guys. If you'd like to hear more official demos for UVI's Augmented Piano or any of the videos or any of the review videos, I'll include a link to take you over to Sample Library Reviews, Augmented Piano page, as well as the developers page. If you want to pick up the instrument while it's on that special intro price, love your support. Please like, share, subscribe, and be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for your latest uh, news and reviews. 